So we are on our way to the uh, ironically named Happy Valley, uh, which is a real place on the side of Box Hill in Surrey. Uh, we're doing a session with Andy McKenzie, our coach. Uh, I'm not entirely sure what he's got in store for us, but um, knowing Andy, it will be challenging. The task itself is wherever they start, they've actually got to finish in that exact same position. So for me, I'm looking for, for, the, for the second phase of it, that they're precise. They, they're clear in what they're doing and, and they communicate that pretty well. Take five paces forwards. Yeah, you should have ended up literally back in front of the Land Rover. <laughs> yeah? <laughs> so 90 degrees to the left. The reason why it's important is because if anything, if any accidents will happen or one person goes down or one person falls ill, they pretty much know that where each of their equipment lies down. And it goes back to the, the communication point. It's got to be very difficult in some uh, situations uh, out on the ice where they might not have uh, a visual command, so they're going to have to go right down to auditory and then keep it very, very um, down to one word, so it's very, very precise. Go and Jane Fonda get physical. <laughs> Feel the burn. <laughs> And then when, when, you, when you're finished, we're going to move all of this equipment just down to the bottom of the hill and then we're going to go all the way back up. You can have another three sleds, so for example, can't be touching each other. One of the things that I'm looking for now is as the guys are running up, so they, they should either be talking about the actual um, contents of the map and as they're coming back down, ideally they want to be talking about what jobs they're actually going to do and putting the thing together. It's just going to speed up the whole process. Go get the ropes. Can I just put the harnesses on? As people start getting tired, they start gelling as a team and that's really important. Less than 10 metres. Good work guys. Five meters. This is really um, physically demanding in this isometric contraction position. Travel off it? Yeah, I think my stuff goes missing. Yeah. I'm not sure I'd travel Use off that either of them. <laughs> Tarka, you don't want to go with Tarka. Tarka would travel <laughs> off that map. <laughs> no, depends, depends how dire the situation yeah. was. Yeah. I think I'd follow Tarka. 